Hey everybody, Brandon Railway here. Got my buddy Kokosing Valley Central with me. We're doing some work on the railroad, the 4x7 that I'm taking to the train shows and stuff. So I got a quick question for everybody. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I got a piece of Velcro here on the side for one of my Atlas remotes. Give you a quick look at what I'm running there. That's for my DCC. I'm considering putting this in here and hiding it with trees. So, whatever you guys uh, have any opinions or anything on that, please let me know what you think. Because I would love an honest opinion on that. Um, the control panel does have one of those in it. I've got a cross, or not a cross signal, a uh, block signal there that will be lit. It will not be completely operational. It'll just show green for track two. Another one here that'll show red for track one. Because this one will show green for track one. And I want to try to wire them to where when one shows red, the other shows green. Coming back over here. Fraser's Farmer's Equity by the Pond. In a little sidetrack area. Billboard back there I have to work on. A bridge that I'm considering mounting on the layout. Gold trestles. And this video is also to help show where stuff needs to be when I put it back together at the train shows. So, any comments, questions, suggestions? That's where that bridge is technically supposed to be. I'm considering just putting it on there with glue because it's not going to sit very high. I'm going to have a two-banger light here, or two-light tower, whatever. A four-light here. You can see they're sitting there on the pond. They will be lit. Tracks three and four, which are those sidings, they are on toggles. So they only get power when I tell them to. And then the bumpers light up. My little downtown area. Eventually I'm probably going to add street lights and go completely hog wild with making this layout look really nice. Because it'll be going to every train show that I can. I know it's kind of hard to see back there, but there's some... Trees, a little half wooded area. One more tree to install back there. Leedy's feed mill. And then up here will be another wooded area. And that is going to be probably completely jam packed with trees. Because you can see the trees I have to install there. There's my little building that I tarped. Because of the storm damage. I figured the story there is I'm going to have a few little boats where they drop the coal down into. And the boats travel downriver into the pond over here. And then on out back there by Garrett. <laughs> so anyhow, like I said, if you guys have any comments, suggestions on mounting that there, I'd kind of like to, but I'm, I'm really debating on whether... I want to or not it'd just be able to give me another place to plug in when I'm at shows so I'm not constantly on my butt sitting down behind the layout but anyhow step back here and give you a quick full view of it it is officially 49 by 85 so it's four foot one wide and seven foot seven foot one long Anyhow, this is Brandon Railway 6920 signing off.